So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and you guys need those smithing stones? Do you need those Samba smithing stones? Do you need those high level ones? Eights and nines? Well people, today I have you covered because I found a cave which has a ton of these smithing stones in uh, two of each of the eights and nines and it's a place you just won't want to miss how's it going guys my name is dpj and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe okay so we're now smithing stones summer smithing stones the lot are used to level up your weapons at a weapon smith they're very very important especially for end game builds today guys i will showcase to you a cave which has a ton of them within here now I uploaded a video earlier today uh, showcasing this cave because you get an amazing sword from it uh, from an actual mini boss inside of it not from the main boss you haven't beat him he's a beast but you don't actually have to fight him to go in there and get the loot get these somber stones so you ain't got to worry about that so the sword is uh, this right here which I'll show you again anyway because you're probably going to get this while you're in here in fact you're definitely going to get this while you're in here it's pretty cool check that out it gets to work it gets to work but also guys there is like i said much more to this cave than i thought if i would have known in my last video i would have shared it then but i didn't i just gone back in here tried to fire boss a couple more times got my ass handed to me so i just explored the cave collected the collectibles and realized there's a little crystal rock still smithing stones all over the place so firstly guys to get here to get to where we well not to where we are now the caves are there that's the cave that's where we need to get to but you firstly need to get here in fact you firstly guys need to get to the here <laughs> you need to uh it's it's a quest it's a trek but it's worth it in the end of the day and when you are up here when you are in game you can come to this cave which i'll show you in a second uh you're good to do you're good to actually farm these you're good to go, go and grab these so what firstly you obviously need to have access to the Grand Lift of Dectus. Search YouTube for Dectus guide. People, hundreds out there, get the medallion, activate this lift, come up to this area. You then guys need to come around here. You'll, you'll see a minibus here you need to kill. Destroy him, no, no biggie. You'll actually then have access to this whole city. Now, Rampart City, I'm guessing it's called because everything's called Rampart, you know. So you'll get the access to the city. You'll have to come around here, fight your way around, and you'll see a massive dragon, and then a humongous dragon. You need to climb its wing, and you'll then have to fight Godfrey. Who I believe is either there or there. So you kill Godfrey, you'll then have to fight the Omen King. Kill the Omen King, and then guys, you have access to this path here, and then the road lift. You then guys need to come up there, all the way up here, to this castle. Uh, and there's a boss here called Commander Neil. Kill him, he'll give you one half of a medallion. The medallion is this. There we go. The other half of this medallion, guys, I actually didn't realize where I got it from. Well, I actually had a look online and checked multiple sources, and it's from a guy. So if you come to this exact checkpoint, you run up the hill. And you'll see there's a guy in a basket. You need to punch the basket. Don't use a weapon or anything like that. Because there's a chance you'll kill him. Punch the basket. Clear his dialogue. And he'll give you the other half of the medallion. You then guys need to come. All the way back up to where we were. The grand lift of road. And you need to press the left or right on your d-pad. And access the secret area. The secret medallion area. You'll then guys come to where I am here. So from here people. We're going to make our way to the cave. Which beholds. All of that juicy, juicy smithing stones, some blue included. So, we're gonna have to ride there. And it is this area where we're actually riding for where you'll come out. You'll get the grand lift, the secret area. You'll fight your way through a couple of enemies or just run straight past them. Grab the grace, you're good. You'll end up where I am. That's where you come out. So, yeah, from here, guys, where you'll come out, uh, we wanna head straight. So, we're gonna go towards this grace here. Now, I think you can get down that way. But it looks like a, a big drop to me, so I just don't want to risk it. But either way, you want to grab this grace anyway. So we're going to run straight towards that. And that's what we're going to do. Just run straight. Just run straight. 
in fact, I should probably mark it on my map to realize I'm actually going straight because I know what I'm like. I know what I'm like. I get fingered off course so easy. I mean, look, these drops here, then you can't really see them. So you probably can go left. Oh, is that another grace? Okay. Where you learned something the other day? There we go, people. There we go. So where is that grace? Let's have a look on the map. Okay, it's right there. It's right there. But we're still going to run to the other grace anyway, guys. We're still going to run to that grace anyway. And my horse don't want to come out. There we go. I went to this grace because obviously if you ain't been here before, you want to activate this. You definitely want to activate this. All right, Wolfie. There should, yeah, like I said, there shouldn't be too much of a, a, a bad drop. I'm going to say you will come across some ginormous enemies. So just don't stop sprinting. Don't stop to have a look. Don't get caught on a rock. Just keep going. Just keep going. I said there, there will be a few drops, but nothing that's going to kill you or your horse. So don't worry about that. That's probably the deepest one you're going to go to. Like that. Easy. Easy. So there's the grace. And from here, guys, just want to move forward a bit. Come to this, like, frozen lake. And you'll see that the fog does clear. And you can actually see where you're going from here. And we can see where we marked there, that cave. So that's where we're going to go. That is where we are going to go, people. So we're going to get these. Now, actually, like, I recorded uh, the full footage of the cave. Half of it corrupted. I lost the one where I killed the dude to get this sword. Um, but I did record. I'm sure I recorded the ones with the smithing stones and the summer smithing stones. So I'll play them out to you anyway. So you're good. You're good there. You're good there. But this cave is full, guys. I do suggest you like going in there, taking out the ads um, and exploring yourself. Because you're probably going to find more than what I've found, to be honest. I was more interested in killing the dude, killing the main boss in there, which I can't do yet. So you come here, guys, you do have to jump down a little bit. You will have to jump down a little bit and then just in here. And there is a grace in here as well. So you're good. So you're good. So you want to take the lift down. And obviously from in here, guys, just look out for any small white rocks. You know, you know what they look like. You know what they look like. You don't need me telling you. Have a grace there. You don't need me telling you. So just come, I'll show you the way all the way down and the way actually back out. Because eventually, you'll come to, well, this door here will be closed. If the first time you're coming in here, this will be closed. You open it on your way out, because that's a boss fight across there. So on your way out, you open it. When you first come here, you can't get through there. But you want to go this way anyway. So come down here. Try not to die. You should try and land on the other uh, thing, you know. And you'll see why these guys are slow. You can run around them. Easy, just run around looking for the summer stones. There you go, there's another one I missed. There you go, smithing stone eight. I have a missed that, I don't have, oh no. Like I said, just keep running around here, guys, and you will see that they are actually pinned all over the place. Like I said, I've picked up most of them. So we're good. Now, guys, you will eventually come here. The actual way out, you'll climb back up that ladder, and you have to go out that way. All right, so you go out that way. So now you jump back down. And this is where that guy is, uh, who gives you your sword. There's also, I'm sure there's a couple of stones in here. I'm sure there's some here. Uh, so let these guys actually, the guy that spawns in actually fights them as well. You'll see him there. Uh, I'm sure there's some behind that as well. So keep that in mind. You see, they all fight him. So if you want to kill him and get that sword, you can be my guest. And he's got a sword equipped here. Oh, yeah, I have. Why is he not coming out? Oh, there you go, he is. Get out of here, boy. Get out of here. Get. And get. And big guy is right there, so you can actually just take him out. He's not hard. Oh, hello, mate. Where do you come from? Yeah, take him out for me. That's what I like to see, big man. Now this guy for me, I can I can actually knock him over. It's actually easier to fight than the smaller guys, if I'm honest with you. There you go, down boy, get up. I'm letting you get up. I'm letting you get up. Don't you hit me with that. I'm letting you get up. Oh shit! <laughs> come on, come on. Uh oh, don't use that on me. Come on, come through here. Come through here. I want to kick your ass, bitch. That's what I thought. Okay, so he will then drop you the sword. 
the first time you kill him, he drops you the sword. Then, guys, once you've cleared out all these ads, you just want to look around for these slumber stars. I'll put the footage on screen now of where I found them, just in case. Just in case, guys. And there we have it. You simply climb back out and leave the other door I told you. Now, there was actually, I need to explain this because there's actually another, another one of those dudes up here. And we're in his room, which you'll see on, actually, you'll see the footage on the screen now. You'll see that there's actually some stones there, so I'll keep that in mind, guys. Keep that in mind. So kill him, loot that, loot them stones, and you are good to go. And there we have it, people. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out of the ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.